But when I entered Libya, Libya was so rough and tough at that time. At one night, he just go and knock my door and wake me up. And uh, he take me to his car, cover me with uh, some plastic, take me to the seaside. When I reach to the sea, I see many people. Early in the morning, we see a ship very far from us. So everybody remove cloth, waving like this, shouting. Women are crying, small children, everybody's crying. We need help, we need help, we need help. From there, the rescuers to the ship. As I've seen so many things, everybody, from there we shout, we need help. Nobody help us. Water started to enter the boat. I didn't see my husband. He was dying. Libya is not a good country. Well over 20,000 people currently remain contained in overcrowded, unsanitary detention centres for migrants in Libya, with reports of Africans now being sold at open-air slave markets in a country still largely lawless. For many, their only hope to escape is to take to the seas on dangerous, overcrowded rubber boats, often through smugglers or having been trafficked. Yeah, in Libya you see, you see dead bodies everywhere. When I was kidnapped, I spent one month, three weeks and four days in the prison. And uh, there was no food, no water. I, I don't believe today I will make it in Libya. I thought that is where I'm going to die, end my life. I took the risk to cross the Mediterranean Sea. 